Here's what pisses me off about white people, right? Because their parents never taught them boundaries, right? They never learn respect. They never learn that there are certain conversations that don't involve you. And in conversations that don't involve you, you should shut the fuck up. You should avoid those conversations. Now, here we are as an African-American community discussing Deion Sanders. This is something that it affects us. It don't affect them. We don't have shit to do with them. Right? Even though he's going to the white school, that still don't have shit to do with them. Right? Now, once he gets to the white school and he's coaching and whatever happens as it relates to Colorado football, then that's a conversation for them. But as it relates to the shit that's going on now, mind your fucking business. There isn't anything that we're talking about that involves you. We're talking about one African-American. We're talking about an African-American school for which the majority of you never heard of. The majority of you white motherfuckers never heard of Jackson State. You, Some of you thought it was a white school. Now it's an African-American school. It's been there a while. Walter Payton went there. Several other, you know, NFL greats graduated from Jackson State long before a Deion Sanders. Jackson State was historical black college excellence. Now this is coming from someone... I didn't even attend Jackson State. I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana. But in New Orleans, what you need to understand is in New Orleans, we love Jackson State. You know, it, it has always been diced in between it's Southern first, then Grambling and tied with Jackson State. And the reason why I say tied with Grambling is tied with Jackson State is because not only are, there, are, are both schools parallel, right? in terms of where they are along Interstate 20, but a lot of us, being that New Orleans was a heavy band culture, a lot of people don't realize a lot of people from New Orleans went to Jackson State. One of my, my best friends in high school, who I was drum major with, right, at Easton, he went to Jackson State, and we couldn't understand, bro, why are you going to Jackson State? <laughs> you know, What's the deal with that shit? Why are you doing that? He's supposed to go to Southern. He said, no, I'm going to Jackson State. I want to be a part of the Sonic Boom. And he went up there and he made that band. Yeah, I went to Southern. I didn't make the band. I, Doc didn't. He rejected me, <laughs> you know. But I've always had a love for Jackson State. If you go look at my earlier videos, you're going to find a tribute to Daryl Shaw, the famous drum major from Jackson State who invented the style that you see right now. I pay tribute to Jackson State on this channel long before any shit about Dion. I pay tribute to Jackson State football on this channel long before a Dion or white folks found out about Jackson State. Because why? We love them. We love them. We always have. And we knew that Jackson State, you know, was about class, and they've always been about excellence. Their band was just here for Mardi Gras. I posted that video. I said, I said a shout out to Jackson State trombone section. You know, this shit with this passion that I have for Jackson State, this shit just didn't start. I don't miss Jackson State versus Southern football games. I don't give a shit where it's at or what I'm doing. That's a game I don't miss. <clears throat> Somebody said. Where you go, you went to LSU football games. You went to Jackson State. I said I have been going to black football games since Ed Ogeron decided to celebrate Trump. The moment they, LSU started talking that Trump shit, have you noticed the name of my channel changed? That shit went from LSU dad to what? The football prophet. Because I didn't want to be affiliated with nothing that was connected to a fucking Trump. That's how much I hated that motherfucker. And that's how much I hated what Ed Ogeron did to our program. But Jackson State is not a new thing. We've been passionate about it. White folks, you're just discovering it. So when we're trying to work out our issues and work out these situations, shut the fuck up. Don't get involved in our conversations. If you shut the fuck up, you might just learn something because you don't know shit about us other than what your racist ass evening news tells you. But we are intellectuals. 
we are into the arts. We don't just give a fuck about football. Y'all think we do. We, there's, we have other interests. We have political interests. We have academic interests. We're, we're not just into this, to this gang banging and shit. That's what your mom taught you about black people. See, when you really get down to it, white people don't know a motherfucking thing about us. You know why? Because they're constantly interjecting their white shit. And if they would just shut the fuck up for a second, they would actually learn. Because a mind is a terrible thing to waste, white motherfuckers.